Four years ago, Shahinez Abdesalam started her blog just because she was looking for a space to express her personal opinions. Little did the IT engineer know that her postings on Wahda Masriya or an Egyptian woman would end up encouraging people to take to the streets calling for change. <laughs> it's part of a groundswell in citizen journalism that gives pro-democracy activists a voice in a country where information is tightly controlled by censors. Bloggers in Egypt have already brought about change. We broke the barrier of fear. I have sensed it myself during protests when people walk up to me and say my postings are the reason they joined the protest. The power of online activists reached its height in 2008 when they backed a call for a strike at a textile mill, urging nationwide civil disobedience. That culminated in deadly riots against inflation and corruption. It also gave birth to the April 6 youth movement that's calling for renewed strikes this year. Estimates put the number of regular internet users in Egypt at 12 million. That's about 15% of the population. And while that's not exactly a large percentage, some of the country's most popular bloggers believe their readership is in the hundreds of thousands, exceeding that of some of the country's most popular newspapers. But for that, some have paid a dear price. Here, at the Arabic Network for Human Rights Information, lawyers have been providing legal aid to the 100-plus bloggers who've been harassed in the past year alone. They include Dia Din Ged, who was just released after seven weeks of incommunicado detention. Internet activists have become the primary target for extra-legal government harassment. They've been kidnapped, assaulted and detained for identifying with popular causes. As a police state, the state responds in the only way it knows. Reporters Without Borders has named Egypt one of the world's enemies of the Internet, a list that features the likes of Syria, North Korea and Cuba. These are exaggerated claims. Freedom of expression is granted, but it's about exercising responsibility. Blogging is a deregulated forum that sometimes publicizes insults to individuals or religions or rumors that undermine national security. Public opinion rejects their calls anyway. Many disagree, saying the government is ruthlessly applying the 27-year emergency law, one of the issues behind the renewed call for a strike this month. April 6 is important. It doesn't have to be a strike. It's enough for it to be a day of anger. Who knows, maybe one of those April 6 days in 2012 or 2013, something will happen to bring about real change. Shahinez acknowledges some bloggers fear the heavy-handedness of authorities and say security intervention is the main reason last year's strike was aborted. But she insists, for her and her colleagues, it's the epitome of courage to be afraid, yet continue the defiance. Rawi Ragih, Al Jazeera, Cairo.